Welcome biologists. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use diagrams to help you get full marks in these kind of questions. So here's a really good example of a diagram you can use to support your explanations into explaining how to get different concentrations of glucose from one known solution. If I know I have a solution that's two molar and I've got 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter cubed of that, I can create different dilutions of that to get different concentrations. So if I take half of this out and mix it with five centimeter cubed of water, I'm diluting it by half. So this solution here would be a one molar solution. And I do the same again in the next step. Take five mil of this out and mix it at each step. And at this point, I'm going to get 0.5 mol if I'm mixing it with water. Take five out again and mix again with five mil of distilled water or five centimeter cubed to get 0.25 and so on and so forth. Really, really important that you say mix thoroughly at each step. This is a diagram that I've done, albeit not as neat, still showing the same kind of thing. In this one, I've started with 10 mil of a one molar solution. So my next one down is a 0.5 molar solution. In each of the steps, you can see that I've got 5 mil of distilled water in there. Um, and you need to make sure you're saying you're mixing it thoroughly at each step. This is an example of a really hard question. If you want to pause this and have a go, please do so now. But it doesn't tell you in the question here the concentration that you're starting off with. So it is a little bit difficult. And here is an example of my diagram that I've used to support what I'm saying. So I know that I can still start off with a 10 mil or a 10 centimeter cubed solution because it tells us I can either use a 10 or a 1 centimeter cubed uh, pipette in the question. What I'd then do is take out 1 mil of this solution and mix... <laughs> Excuse me, mix it with 9 mil of distilled water. Now, in this point, I've diluted it by a tenth. So this means I've got a 1 in 10 solution. Now, because I don't know the concentration of this, I can just say it's a 1 in 10 solution. Uh, I then take 1 mil of that out and mix it again with 9 mil of distilled water to get a 1 in 100 solution. And again, 1 mil out, mixing it with 9 mil of water and so on and so forth until I get to that 10,000th of my original solution. Really important that I'm saying mix the yeast suspension at each step. I know this is a yeast suspension because it tells me in the question. So I'm linking what I know I get a mark for into the question. So always write that step, even if you're unsure of the actual CO dilution. And as you can see, I would get full marks from that diagram um, from these different marking points given in the mark scheme. So in summary, use a diagram to spot what you're saying and get full marks in your exam. Guys, good luck in your exam. Don't forget, don't use the words it, the amount and size and all the best.